hey guys welcome to code decode so in this video we are going to see what is bubble sort and implementation of bubble sort using two for loop in java if you want me to cover the same implementation using recursion or using single for loop please let me know in the comment section i will create a separate video on that so what is bubble sort it is a simple sorting algorithm and it repeatedly iterate over the array and compare the adjacent element so based on this comparison it swaps the element if they are in wrong order so at the end of every iteration we will get the largest element at the end of the array so for example at the end of first iteration we will get the largest element at the end of second iteration we will get the second largest element and so on when all the iterations get completed we will get the sorted array so let's see with the help of one example so let's take an array which consists of number 80 32 45 12 and 30 these are not sorted in any order so what happens in bubble sort so first it will compare 80 and 32 and as you can see 80 is larger than 32 so it will swap their position with 32 and 32 will come at the first position and 80 will come at the second position now it will compare 80 and 45 and similarly it will swap their position because 80 is greater than 45 similar thing happen with 80 and 12 they will swap their position and the similar thing happen with 80 and 30 they will swap their position because 30 is less than 80 and 30 will come at the fourth position and 80 will come at the last position so as you can see the first iteration is completed and the largest element will be at the last index of the array similarly in the second iteration 32 will get compared with 45 and 32 will remain at the same position because 32 is smaller than 45 and then 45 will get compared with 12 then 12 is less than 45 so it will come at the second position and 45 will come at the third position and similarly 45 will get compared with 30 because uh, 30 is lesser than 45 so it will come in the third position and 45 will come at the fourth position so at the second last position of la we will get 45 so here second iteration get completed similarly in the third iteration 32 will get uh, come at the third position and 30 will come at uh, second position and 12 will come at first position at the end of the final iteration we will get the sorted array okay now so now let's jump into the coding part here you can see we have created one class and inside that class we have one main method we have also declared one array similar to the uh, array which i have showed you in the slide so it contain in consist of 80 32 45 12 30 as an element uh, we have created one method uh, which is returning void and taking one argument as the array which we have declared here and it is it is also printing the same array so let's dry run this code as you can see this array is not in sorted order so we have to write the code uh, using bubble sort to sort this array in the increasing order so what would be our approach first we will write one for loop which will iterate over the array so let's write it okay so inside this for loop we have to uh, create one more for loop which will basically swap this element and uh, based on the condition it will going to swap and we will going to write that condition so first uh, write the inner for loop so here i am taking same length minus 1 but to increase the efficiency we have to make one modification which we, which i am going to uh, show you at the end of the video so please watch this video till end and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section so here we are going to write the code to swap but before that we have to put one condition if the first element is greater than the adjacent element then we have to execute that code otherwise we have to we don't have to execute that code so how we do that so first we have to check whether a of k is greater than a of k plus 1 then only we will going to write we will going to execute this code so what is a of k here so a of k is zeroth index a of k plus 1 a is first index okay so how to write a code to swap so first we will take the temp variable and in that temp variable we will assign the value of a of k that is 80 and now uh, we will going to overwrite the value of a of k that is 80 with uh, a of k plus 1 that is 
so now both a of so at that position both a of k and a of k plus 1 has 32 and 32 as their values so now we have to swap a we have to overwrite the value of a of k plus 1 as 80 so how we will do that we will use the temp variable here here we will assign the temp variable to a of k plus 1 so here our a of k is 32 and our a of k plus 1 is 80 so here our coding part is completed let's dry run our code and i hope our uh, array will get sorted in increasing order yes our array is sorted in increasing order okay now let's debug this code and see how it works so we have already put debug points here and i'm going to run in debug mode okay so here our first element is 80 and our second element is 32 here also our first element is 80 and our second element is 32 so now let's check whether our swapping algorithm is working or not so now what would be the position of uh, array so it's 32 80 45 12 and 30 so here also our position of array is same you can check that 32 80 45 12 and 30 so in the second iteration what would be the position of array it, the position of array is 32 45 80 12 and 30 so what happened here is okay so now our position of array is same in both slide and in our code so here is the catch at the end of the first iteration as you can see the largest element will already get at the last position so in the second iteration we don't have to iterate over the last index we have to iterate over the n minus 1 index or n minus j index so what we will do is we will put minus j so what what will happen after this uh, after every iteration of the inner loop the next iteration will iterate till uh, length minus 1 minus j so after first iteration it will iterate till 0 to 4 after second iteration it will iterate 0 to 3 after uh, fourth iteration it will iterate 0 to 1 so in this way we will we can increase the efficiency of our code so let's see uh, it will whether this code is running same as before or not so i'm going to run this java application so as you can see uh, it don't have any effect on the coding side and we have increased the efficient efficiency as well okay so uh, till now our code is working fine but this is not the optimized solution so consider one scenario where an array is already in sorted order and uh, if we will pass this sorted array into this bubble sort uh, function so what will happen is uh, this two for loop will uh, execute again and again but uh, if the uh, array is already sorted so we don't have to run this for loop again and again uh, on the first iteration we have to break the code because if on the first iteration if no element will get swapped so there is no point of uh, running this code again and again so how can we achieve this first let's create an <coughs> array which is already sorted and let's pass this array and uh, let's check in the debug mode uh, what's going to what's happening here so as you can see uh, in the first iteration it is checking uh, whether the element is getting swapped so in the first iteration it is not getting swapped so it is checking for the second iteration also so here we have to stop our code and uh, how to do it uh, here we will take one boolean variable called as is swapped and initialize this with false and if our if our one value will get swapped we will reinitialize this variable as true and we will put one condition outside this for loop that is this for loop and inside this for loop that is if it's swapped is false then break the code so what change will what change this code will bring so let's debug this code again okay so now in the first iteration this code will run as previously but in the second iteration it will check whether this uh, swap function is false or true uh, this is false and this condition will get executed and here 
from this point of time this code will get break and it won't execute for the second iteration so in this way we will increase the efficiency of code and this is much more optimized code than the previous one okay so let's talk about the important point of this algorithm so the worst and average complexity of this bubble sort for this program is o of n of n square uh, why n square because we are using a two for loop and the best complexity of this bubble sort is o of n uh, that will happen in the case of uh, uh, when we will pass already sorted order like uh, 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 like just before i have explained you the optimized solution for this program so if we will use that optimized solution so the best complexity would be o of n and the worst and average complexity would be o of n square okay so till now i have uh, shown you the implementation part using two for loop if you want me to cover uh, this uh, implementation using recursion or using single for loop please let me know in the comment section i will create a separate video on that so till then bye bye please like share and subscribe this channel